Hey there, this is Kat Novak here. I am coming to you with our um, the video on how to assemble your pinwheels if you're not able to join us for the live class. So in your kit, you will have found a glass jar with some pebbles. Um, I went ahead and added those and had that set to the side. You have a pencil. You have four paper straws with holes already in them. You will have four pieces of paper um, cut for you. You have the blue, the red, and then the two print, um, animal print on one side and the red and white polka dot on the other. You will also have a baggie with some brads, four brads. This is what, this is called a brad, um, and four pony beads. So what we're going to do, um, one thing I want to let you know is if you want, um, you can actually color and design maybe with stickers um, or, and go ahead and color these if you want to make them more, uh, have more character to them. Um, or you can leave them plain. Um, it's up to, completely up to you. So what we're going to do is, this is a really pretty simple craft. Um, you're going to want to, we're going to basically, there's um, holes and sometimes you may find that the hole isn't all, all the way punched out on yours. Um, just take the point of this and help push that through. So what we're going to do is we're going to build our pinwheel by curling the um, paper and attaching it all through the center hole. But if you try to do it right off, um, a lot of times it will, you'll end up with a hard crease on your paper. So I think the easiest way for you guys to do this and to explain is just to take your um, pencil and kind of loosely kind of curl your paper. And I'm basically, I'm just kind of pushing it around the pencil and kind of pulling back so that the paper kind of softens and has that tendency to go that way. Um, so what, ultimately that's what we want to have happen is it to curl that way. The other thing you can even use is your fingers if that's easier um, and kind of gently um, curl it over. And you're gonna to wanna to do that to each of them. So if you find the pencil an easier way to do it, that's fine. Um, probably just taking it and loosely rolling it, using the pencil and pulling it like that. Um, just be careful not to pull too hard because um, we don't wanna rip the paper too much. Um, you know, here's fine, um, but we don't wanna to pull too hard that we tear it in half. And the other thing we wanna be very careful of is of these holes. We don't wanna pull too hard so that it puts a hole it rips through that hole because that's how it's going to be anchored. So again, I'm kind of just pushing that through. I'm taking my pencil and I'm kind of using that as I kind of roll the paper back and forth. And you could do this several times to kind of get it to where you want. Um, this is a cardstock weight paper, so it's it's got more weight to it than just regular um you know, loose leaf paper that you have at home. Um, so it's a little harder to work with, but it's also a little stiffer, which makes it last a little longer. Okay. And again, I'm just kind of rolling it, rolling the pencil and keeping that paper on there and kind of breaking down some of those fibers. So now I have it so that it kind of is rolling, is mostly curled in. And you can come back over it once you've, to get it go a little further. And because ultimately what we're trying to do is we get it so that it all goes to that center and it doesn't put too much tension to rip. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brad and you're gonna start with one and put it through the hole. You're gonna go to the next one and put it through. Go to your third and to your fourth, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna poke it through so it comes out the back side like that. I'm gonna grab the blue bead, a blue pony bead that kind of matches my blue to go with my blue. You don't have to do it that way. Um, and we're going to grab our straw and feed that through the straw. Then we're gonna fold kind of using your fingernail if possible. Um, if not, you might wanna grab a pair of scissors. You could use them to kind of help open it up, but you're just gonna fold back those um, metal pieces of the brad so that it's on your, um, it stays on your straw. 
And so that's really all there is to putting these together. They're pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and set that one in my jar. I'm gonna move on to my next color. And you can also, the paper is two-toned. As you can see here, you've got the darker side and the lighter side. So you can choose whether you want the darker to be on the inside or the outer um, to change it up. I kind of like the dark on the outside, light on the inside. So I'm gonna kind of do that with this one. So I've got the, the darker tone and the lighter tone, it, but it makes no difference. I'm gonna start again, kind of taking my pencil and kind of rolling it on the table as I kind of push the paper over it. Um, and like I said, you can come over, come, keep doing this a couple times to kind of break down those fibers. All right, I'll come to the next one. go. I'm going to back around one more time and just kind of get it to go a little further. There we go. And again, all we're doing is you're trying to kind of break down this fibers a little bit just so it's easier and not so much tension on that paper to that it would cause it to rip through these holes. So I'm gonna start with putting my brad through the first one, go to the, around in a circle, adding, feeding the, that pre-cut hole onto the brad. And then I'm going to push it through to the back side. So now it's coming out the back. I'm gonna grab my red pony bead. I'm gonna grab my straw, paper straw, and I'm gonna push that through. Putting a little pressure on the table so it doesn't all pop out. I'm gonna take my fingernail and bend down those edges so it kind of stays put on there. So there's my second pin, pin wheel. And now we're gonna move on to the, to the pattern paper. So now you can, I'm gonna do one of each. So I'm gonna do one with the animal print on the inside and then I'll do one with the animal print on the outside just for fun so you can see the difference and decide which way you wanna do it. The, car, the pattern papers is not quite as heavy a weight and meaning it's not quite as thick as your as the cardstock is. So it's a little bit easier to play with, but it also means that it's a little easier to tear. So keep those two um, aspects in mind. Right, almost there. Again, I'm gonna kind of come back a second time. All right, now I'm going to grab my bread, find a starting point. Backside, add my pony bead, grab my paper straw, and again, there. So there's my next pinwheel. And now, on this one, like I said, I'm going to flip it over and do the opposite. So, I'm gonna, there we go. Sorry, that little bit of the, when the, my machine cuts them, it sometimes cut, leaves a little remnant. So I was just pulling that off. All right. And this pinwheel craft is pretty easy, but it's really a fun um, decorative piece that should. And if you, I'll show you on this one too. We can loosen those brad up a little bit. Um, and really make it so that it spins. Um, so you can even maybe take it outside when on a windy day. Whoa! Just rolled my pony bead across the table. Okay. 
All right, I've got my last one. I'm gonna go to over these two. Okay, so for my last one, again, I'm going to just go around in a circle, adding each of those in. Then I'm going to pop it through the back side, grab my white pony bead, using the table to help me, I'm going to put that on. And so what you can do is, if you want a little bit more, it to spin a bit more, I don't flatten it quite all the way. I kind of try and leave a little bit of room so that it spins a little more. So you can, see if we can, sometimes you might need something up against it. All right. So there, I kind of gave it a little bit more room so it can spin a bit more. So anyway, so here are all the pinwheels. And it's hard because I'm shooting from above. But I have, I decided to go with four to send you guys. Um, the picture showed three. That would be more fun to make one more. Um, so there are the pinwheels. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for joining me. And I look forward to doing another craft with you soon.